Looking for little old me? Thank you so much. Yes, you led me to an errand. You persisted, even though I was sure all you were going to find was a dead end. I will never be able to repay you for what you've done for me. Finding an errand allowed me to bring that chapter of my life to a close. I feel free. A great weight has been lifted off my heart. This moment, it feels like the moment before the sunrise, when all the world is still, holding its breath, waiting for first light. I can stop thinking about my past and look forward to the future. Thank you, my friend. You will always have my gratitude. Have you given any thought to what Anarin said? There is wisdom in his words. You are a mage, and you could be what the Circle needs most. But if you do, what then? You're not an apostate like Anarin. You could return, help us rebuild. Your life as a Grey Warden has given you a chance to venture abroad, farther than many mages have been. You've seen the world, dealt with kings and lords, Templars and apostates. You've seen the good and bad of all of these. You could bring these experiences back to the Circle, improve it with what you know. It will take time, but it can be done, slowly. Oh, believe me, I would if I could, but I am not long for this world. Day by day, I feel myself weakening. I will not live to see the Circle rebuilt and made stronger and more glorious. This will be a dream I take to my grave. It doesn't have to be a dream for you. What's on your mind? It is no trouble. <laughs> I still got it. Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Aye. All right then. What say you? How nice. What say you? By all means. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Indeed.
Our Lehman sends his regards, Warden. We're trying to keep the roads clear and safe. The worst of it's cleaned up now. Just watch yourself if you're going in. The alienage is a festering sore full of parasites. And that's on a good day. We are grateful. The compact is renewed. What do you need? I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. Of our alienage. Alienage. You're too good They're to the listen same to everywhere, else? aren't they? What are you? Someone's coming. Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. I knew I shouldn't have cut through here. Bloody knife ears. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Ostagar. Darkspawn took off half my foot. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. Perhaps I could have a try at that. It is done. And you'd like... I won't go to the hospice. <clears throat> you can't make me. <coughs> I'm not going anywhere, so don't waste your breath. Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. 
I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. We'd heard rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alienage. Sadly, not anymore. But I have years of hard-won experience. Often the chase is as difficult as the resolution. So I do the Maker's work in whatever way I can. I volunteered for it. I was most adamant. I took my vows to serve the Chantry, not sit idly by. I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place, it's scarred like me. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness, despair. But over time, I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. I don't know, but the feeling of wrongness never wanes. And so I attempt to puzzle it out. I don't suppose I could impose upon you. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. None. I thank you for humoring me on this. If I am wrong, I will rightly feel the fool. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. How do you even know they're working magic? They could just be chanting gibberish. It's not as if you'd ever know. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's wrong, Shen? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though, all the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? Those mages say they're from a circle, just from another land. I have no idea if they're telling the truth, or if anyone cares. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. He's... He's the Elder, the person who guides us. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but it's important to us. They have to know about it. The Haran complained, and so did I. They just don't care, or... something worse. You can try. Those guards mean business.
I ask you to stand back. Some of these people are carrying the plague. The alienage is not safe for visitors. If we did not know how to prevent the plague, we would not be here now. For your own safety, we must ask you to leave now. You have already been told to leave. Please do not waste any more of our time. You have already been told to leave. Please do not... I'm sorry, but we're closed. There are a few places in the market district that can probably serve you. They came to treat the Blight Plague. You did know about the plague, didn't you? They don't want it spreading to the Imperium. The plague made it to Denerim from the south by trade routes, after all. No reason it couldn't cross the sea the same way. It's magic. I suppose in the Imperium, they use magic to boil water and cross the street. The Chantry sent a Templar to watch them the first day. If the Chantry says it's safe, it must be. It's supposed to keep you from getting sick. If you're already ill, though, well, they take you into quarantine. I don't know. Either you don't get the plague because you got their magic put on you, or you don't get it because you just got lucky. But it can't hurt, right? No one who's gone in has come out again. Could be they die in there. Could be they've recovered and just can't come back yet. In the hospice on the corner. Don't think they'll let you in, though. It wouldn't be much of a quarantine if people just come and go there. Good day. has eyes, but Grandma calls. You're not one of the bad men, are you? I just want to make Grandma happy. The housemen, they came the night of shouting. All of us orphans were in there. Then the blood. Oh, the blood, still bleeding. Poor animals, poor us. So many died. So many. The orphanage is all dead now. The dogs hear the bad men too. They make the dogs so confused. So angry. Poor little pups barking at the noise. Make them stop. Never met her. But she protected me. But I lost her amulet. Grandma, make the voices go away. Everything and nothing. They thirst for blood. More blood. The bad men in the house. The housemen. They came the night of shouting. Poor animals. Poor us. No, sir. No, sir, indeed. Don't go into the orphanage. The bad men will take you too. Yes, my friend. I finished. Just like you wanted.